Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be going over the after hours. All four of the tiers in the after hours business from this DLC. We're going to go over all the tasks that come with tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to go over the award as, awards as well. And I want to do a, you know, just a special mention. mention. Um, this career progress is not on PS4 or Xbox One or PC. Just want to bring that up real quick. Um, so I feel bad for my PS4 and Xbox One um, members out there, um, and uh, my PS, my PC guys. I mean, so I feel bad for y'all. You don't have this future um, on y'all's platforms, but if you are on next gen, this video you can definitely watch and watch what certain tasks that you may have not completed or what certain tiers you may have not completed. And I'm going to go over those tiers and tasks in this video. But anyway, guys, let's start the video. All right. So you have four tiers, okay? For tier one from the After Hours DLC, you have three tasks, okay? Task one is set up a nightclub. So all you've got to do is buy a nightclub. That is so simple and easy. Just go to Amazement Foreclosure. Um, or since I think the Conjure DLC Rockstar made an update where all the, like, um, like, Co uh, the icons on the mini map has like been updated and stuff and there should be like a T near the Bahama Mama's building or something like that go to that and you can get a phone call or you don't have to um, just go on the website on Amazement Foreclosure and buy your nightclub from there but that's how you complete task 1 from tier 1 task 2 you need to complete a club management mission so after going through that long cutscene and doing the setup missions, setting up the staff and the uh, equipment and stuff, and also collecting that first DJ Solomon or whatever. After doing all that, you can log into your computer, then Tony has to talk to you about the business, how it works and how it runs and stuff. After that, then you can start your club management mission from your, uh, not your nightclub computer, and that's how you complete task two for tier one. Now the final task, to complete this, all you gotta do is just dance for five minutes inside a nightclub. It could be your nightclub, it can be your friend's nightclub, it don't matter. It could be a random player's nightclub. It don't matter. Just dance for that in that nightclub for five minutes and then boom, you complete task three. And after completing these three tasks, your award is the Masonette cap. So it's a hat basically. That's what you get. Task uh, tier two, I'm sorry. So for tier two, you have three more tasks, just like tier one. With tier two, you have different tasks. So the task you have for tier two is hire a second resident DJ. So when you first collected that first DJ after setting up your nightclub and going through all those cuttings and everything, uh, after collecting Solomon, it's, he's your first DJ you get for your nightclub, then you can hire either a second DJ. You can hire the Televus, the Black, uh, Dixon, or Black Madonna. You just hire a second resident DJ and you'll complete task one for tier two. For task two, for tier two, you need to source goods for your nightclub basement. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not that hard. Just call up Johan. Since the Criminal Enterprise DLC, Rockstar uh, made him as a new contact in your phone. He's the technician guy that you hire or that you uh, hired by collecting him when you did the staff uh, mission or setup mission for your nightclub. Um, you can just call him up. And you can do your own like solo sourcing like business battle um, from your nightclub, and then you know just complete that mission, deliver the you know the source goods back to your nightclub basement, and then boom, you complete task two for tier two. And the final task, pretty simple, pretty easy, um, is just to eject a troublemaker from your nightclub. This was a feature they added in the Criminal Enterprise DLC that was added to your nightclub business, but once you walk in your nightclub, you get a text from uh, your bodyguard, uh, Marcel, and uh, he will let you know if there's a troublemaker or if there's a VIP. Now, if it's a VIP, you have to take them to the hospital or their house. Um, but if it's uh, if it's a like normal like blue dot in your nightclub, that is a troublemaker. And usually, the troublemakers are like near like complaining like the bartenders and stuff. Usually, that's where the troublemakers are. Or they're like just, you know, snooping around your nightclub in certain parts are not supposed to be. And that's usually 
that's when you can tell there's a troublemaker. If it's a VIP, I think it's like a person icon. But if it's a troublemaker icon, it's like a circle blue circle icon. That's you can tell that it's a troublemaker. But just eject a troublemaker out of your nightclub, and then boom, you complete task three. And your award for task I'm sorry, not task three. For ta for tier two, I mean. Um, but yeah, that's task three, yeah. But for tier two, uh the award you get for completing all three of the tasks for tier two is the Masonette Festival t shirt. Tier three. Tier three has a pretty cool award as well, guys. Um, but We'll get to that in a minute. Tier three, uh, you have three tasks. So it looks like the first three tiers, you have three tasks. But all the tier fours, like each tier has a different set of tasks. Okay, now they all, they're all they not all the same, okay? But with the businesses, it seems like tier one, two, and three have only three tasks, it seems like. And then the final tier, tier four, for all the businesses have four tier, four tier, four tasks, I mean. So for tier three, um, you have three tasks and task one you need to hire all resident DJs so you basically need to hire all your DJs you need to hire Solomon tell us Dixon black Madonna and then boom as you hire all those DJs you complete task one task two you need to fill up your nightclub safe to two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars that's the max amount that's the max amount of money that your safe can stop at so once your nightclub safe fills up to that amount, that's the capacity, that's how far it can go, it can go past $250,000, then boom, you've completed. Now do not claim the money, like I made a mistake. I had to let my safe refill up again, a second time, just to complete this task. The mistake I made was I claimed, I collected my money, and well, it reset the, uh, the second task back to zero out of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It reset it basically, and there was no checkpoint check mark there. And I was like, I thought I completed this task, but no, you do not collect the money until you complete all three of these tasks. I don't collect the money for task two until you get all three of the tasks complete, then claim your award, and then you complete a tier three. That's basically what you have to do. I made an oopsie mistake on my end, you know, but it happens, you know. Anyway. The final task for Tier 3 from the After Hours DLC is complete 25 club management missions. Pretty easy, pretty simple, not that hard. If you want to speed this process up a little faster, get a friend. But if you want to do it solo, you can. Um, what I usually do uh, if I did this solo is I'll do a club management mission. And then, of course, there's, there's, there's going to be a short delay, you know, cool down with these missions. I'll go do like a security control or a payphone hit or a fooligan job or or a Miss Baker free mode work mission or whatever. I'll just do something other, something random while I'm waiting and bypassing that cooldown. And then I'll call Tony up on my phone. You can do that. Instead of going to your computer, you actually can just call Tony up from your phone. They actually uh, made that as a change. They, they kind of made that change in the criminal enterprise DLC. But yeah, either go to your office nightclub computer or call up Tony on your phone. And then that's how you can start one of these club management missions. And pretty simple, pretty easy. It don't take that long to complete these missions and stuff, guys. But yeah, that's how you. That's what you have to do to complete task three. And your award for completing all three tasks for tier three is the Patriot Stretch livery, and that is the money dollar dollar livery. So if you don't have this livery for, this is a rare livery as well. But Rockstar's given it to you as an award for completing this tier. In the uh, career progress, that's pretty cool. For tier four, it's the final tier for the after hours DLC business. Is you have four tasks. Okay, task one, you need to unlock eight platinum awards for the after hours DLC. Now, you can tell I've unlocked six out of eight, and you these are simple. Now, there is one award. It's called I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called coordinate, where you have to basically dance to the beat, but you can't miss. A single, like a single, like you gotta dance to the beat perfectly. You can't miss a single move dancing to the to the music. Basically, that award is actually bugged or glitched or something's messed up with that award, and it's not actually working. Cause I actually did the award, like I did what it exactly, you know, I did I did the task like right. I you know I did what the award told me to do, what I had to do. I did it correctly, everything. I didn't you know mess up anything at all. Um. <laughs> Well, the award must be bugged or glitched or Rockstar must have changed something with the award, but it's not working for a lot of players. 
So I just wanted to bring it up in this video when we got to this uh, final tier from the After Hours DLC for the for unlocking the eight platinum awards. One of those awards are kind of bugged or glitched out, but the other awards you can do com uh, you can actually complete. They're not bugged or anything like that. But that one is called Coordinate. That's what the name of the award is, and it's I think bugged or glitched or something's messed up with the award. A rock should did something to it, or it's not actually um, <laughs> giving the award as you actually complete the task, as you complete the task of the award and stuff like that. And you do what the award wants you to do and you actually, you know, follow the, the instructions of the award, you know. As you follow, like, as you do what the award tells you to do or what it explains to you and you do exactly everything correctly, it doesn't uh, give you the award or anything like that. So, they might, you might have to either, you know, submit a ticket to Rockstar Sport. I don't know if they're going to help help with the situation i mean i submitted the ticket i have not gotten a response back from rockstar game support maybe they will they'll i will hear something back from them hopefully soon but i wanted to bring it up in this video when we got to the final tier of all four tiers of the after hours dlc all right task two they want you to have 25 celebrities appear at your nightclub this is simple um this will take some time but it's not hard. Now, these celebrities have to appear at your nightclub. They can't be a friend's nightclub. It won't work. So, I was about to say you might need a friend, but no, no, no. You do not need a friend. You're probably going to ask, Oh, Game Boss, do we need a friend for completing task 2 from the uh, in tier 4 from the After Hours DLC in the business category of the career progress? No, for task 2, you don't need you do not need a friend because uh, it, it won't work. I mean, you can have a friend help you with, this mis with these missions, but... You have to have these celebrities appear at your nightclub, not your friend's nightclub, not a random player's nightclub. It has to be your nightclub, and you have to get 25 of these celebrities to appear in your nightclub. 25 times, or have 25 celebrities appear at your nightclub. So, it has to be your nightclub. Nobody else's nightclub, yours, okay? Are we clear, guys? <laughs> For task three, they want you to keep your nightclub popularity at 100% for 10 hours. Now... I've done that one out of ten times, or one out of ten hours, I guess. So I've done that for one hour, but you need to do that for ten hours. That's easy, and that is not hard. That don't take that much time at all. But you need to keep that. Basically, you got to keep your popularity bar full. Don't let it go down at all, and it's got to stay full for ten hours. And in, and in GTA game time, ten hours is not that long. So. And then your final task for tier four from the After Hours DLC is you need to earn a total of $50 million. Now, this is not from your safe. No. This is from the warehouse. From how much, how amount of like goods you've sold from your nightclub basement and the basement. Not from the safe. That's That don't count with this. This is from the how much you've earned in total from selling basically nightclub goods cargo basically from your nightclub so you need to sell basically 50 million dollars worth of nightclub goods and you will complete this task it's not hard I, you can tell i've done it already it is very simple and i say if you want to speed this up a little faster for the final task for tier four from the after hours dlc and you want to earn that total of 50 million dollars get a friend to help you but see, it's going to take time to re to refill up your 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 ba your warehouse underneath your nightclub. That takes time. Now, the nightclub is a passive business, so you could be doing other stuff like doing a heist, a mission, you know, I don't know, a full game job, a payphone hit, a security contract. You could be so doing something else besides worrying about your nightclub, you know, basement filling up. That will fill up on its own. But you're gonna have supplies for your other businesses. For that to generate well since they added the ability to you for you to be able to call Johan to source your own like solo business battle um you can kind of speed it up by yourself now if you want to or you can still go in public lobbies and get business battles i mean either way it don't matter that still is it's going to fill your nightclub warehouse up either way with goods and stuff but yeah those are the four tasks for tier four and your award for tier four by completing all four of, the, of these tasks for this uh, tier is the Anus Stafford. Now, this vehicle actually was a removed vehicle, by the way. I wanted to mention that. I know I didn't make a video about that, but 
yes, this is one of the removed vehicles. Um, it's actually at the Logie Autos uh, dealership this week, actually. So if you don't want to have to, you know, if you don't want to go through this, you know, grind of trying to earn the NS Stafford for free by completing all four of the tiers from the after hours uh, uh, category and the business category of the career progress, instead of you doing all these tiers and of course, this is a grind, you know, to even get these awards. Of course, guys, just go to the car, just go to the luxury autos dealership and buy it if you want to, you know. Now, it's only here for this event week, it's actually on sale too at the car dealership. You can't buy it offline off the website, I mean, because they took it out of the game, but still, but yeah, that's your award. Those are all the tiers, those are all the tasks for all the tiers, um, and those are all the awards for all each tier, anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful in any way. I hope it was helpful to y'all guys. And don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you always get notified when I upload a brand new video. Anyway guys, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Gaming Boss, out.